The goddess Athena was the goddess of wisdom, who was the inspiration really for poets and muses and historians in ancient history. Located in the Brody Learning Commons, we have chosen to label our Center for the Digital Humanities at Johns Hopkins, the Athenaeum, to focus us back on the past and the way the past connects to the future, because that's what the Athenaeum is really about. Many Athenaea have been built over the years. They typically are nice buildings where people go in to sit quietly and to read. Ours is completely different. It is the Athenaeum for the 21st century. We intend that people will not be quiet at it. It will be a beehive of activity, the place where the physical objects are important as well as the digital ones. So we envision as having as the material of which people are operating basically every kind of recorded object that we have in the university. And we're thinking again, not only about rare books and manuscripts, but multimedia, film, items from the archeological collections, cuneiform tablets, all the forms in which knowledge has been created and recorded over history. We see the Athenaeum as having two really, really critical parts of what universities do. One is to create a community of scholars, particularly important here because the emphasis that we have at Hopkins on enabling and really requiring undergraduates to do original research. But then we also have the opportunity to share the results because all of the results of the work that is done by people who are working in the Athenaeum will be put online and available to anyone anywhere in the world. Just to give you an example, the first large-scale digitization effort that occurred in an academic library in the U.S. occurred at Johns Hopkins with the Levy Sheet Music Collection. The Levy Collection is about 40,000 pieces of sheet music designed to show the evolution of American history, both through the lyrics as well as in the designs. And then think about the 42 copies known in the world of the Gutenberg Bible. If someone wants to do a comparison of those, you are not going to go to the interlibrary loan desk and say, would you please borrow the rest of these? But through a digitization project, you can bring all of them together online, overlay one page on the other, get a quite a lot of information from that about the history of printing, the evolution of religion, and other topics that could never be done so long as items are widely dispersed. And that's the whole idea. In addition to the things that I've been mentioning, one of the projects we're most excited about now is the ability to digitize a lot of our works from the Italian Renaissance. Many people during the era wrote in their books, and we're so happy they did. Those marginalia, as we call them, will lead to a very different kind of scholarship because no one else has ever been able to see these in mass. And we've named this project Hidden Renaissance, because what is hidden really are the reactions of the Renaissance scholars to the works of their peers. But to me, the most exciting thing about the whole world of digital scholarship, particularly in the humanities, is that one can really have no idea exactly what's going to happen. Just another example, a student who graduated from the Krieger School two years ago decided that there needed to be better attention paid to the way in which old photographs were treated. Young Tom Smith thought he would be able to apply the techniques that he knew about engineering as well as robotics to create a device that could very gently pick up the back of the photograph, place it on a camera, and then return it to the stack. So we envision this laboratory for the humanities as crossing boundaries because we are discipline agnostic. We really support everyone. We see the ways in which there may be linkages between disciplines. So having this kind of activity that's about bringing together all of knowledge is something which is a particular challenge and mission of the libraries. And we're so excited to be able to be uh, on the verge of launching this new initiative.